What's up you guys, Zeddy at Fliptronics. I'm gonna be showing you how to screen record on the iPhone XS Max. All right, so what's pretty cool is that there's actually a feature within this phone. Normally in the past, you'd have to download like a third party app like Airshow in order to make this happen. Anyways, I'm gonna show you how to use this feature. It's pretty sweet, uh, but what you need to do is go into your settings and then you wanna scroll down to Control Center and uh, then you wanna click on customize controls. All right, so from in here, you're gonna to wanna to add the feature to the control center because it's the easiest way to use it. So you just need to scroll down here and you're gonna look for the screen recording option. It might be in a different spot depending uh, just on your iPhone. You wanna click the little plus icon and you should see the screen recording now popped up in your control center. All right, so I'm gonna get out of this. Um, we're gonna go into control center and you should just see this like little uh, kind of like icon. It's a little play button icon tap it and it's gonna do a three, two, one countdown and then it should go red on the uh, the time in the left top hand corner. All right, so let's just say we're cr screen recording. Uh, I was just checking out this Hordes of Enemies game, which is awesome. So I'm just gonna let it play for, you know, like 10, 10, 20 seconds here and then we're gonna stop the recording just to see that it was working. Oh, slice and dice, this game's awesome by the way. All right, let's get 10 kills and then I'm gonna stop the recording. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, last kill. All right, cool, so now let's get out of the game. I'm gonna stop the recording. You just need to tap it and then it's gonna save into your photo. So let's go there to check out that it actually worked. All right, cool, let's get in here. All right, here it is right here. It should be about 41 seconds. And there you go, you can see that it did what it was supposed to and uh, it's that easy. And you know what's really cool is, like I said, um, you know, back in the past, uh, you would need to download download like a third party app, but you don't need to do it anymore. It's actually in the phone settings. All right, cool. So I have a link in the description um, if you guys want to sign up for more tips on this phone. Uh, also, if you could hit the like and share button, I'd appreciate that. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all later.